Hello, seventh grade math students. We're going to start subtracting integers today, all set with adding them. So let's subtract. Go ahead and mark this as the title of your next um, topic in your math notebook. If you want to leave several, a lot of room after each example, we'll do three strategies total. And we can probably reuse a lot of the same examples possibly. So if you want to leave yourself room after each we do um, to show it three different ways. Uh, that could be a big deal. Well, I don't know. Maybe not. Uh, go ahead and leave it. Worst that happens is I change the examples and we don't use them. All right. So real quick, I'm going to show you the most obvious thing in the world before we start subtracting integers. Um, you know, let me. The most basic way using our system you would have ever learned to subtract in general if you did, you know, eight minus five back in probably first grade. If you want to use our little symbols for it, you would have kind of done this. You would have done 8, positive 8, minus take away positive 5 means you would have taken 5 of these and kind of taken them away, and you would have been left with 3. So 8 minus 5 equals 3. And we're going to, those are our little counters, and I just want to remind you of the oldest possible way you probably learned to do this because we're going to use a similar method today with negatives. Uh, other thing I want to remind you, opposites, we're going to need this reminder that when you add two opposites, especially negative one and positive one, you get zero. And we're going to be using that today because there's going to be issues where we add zero to things um, in order to be able to subtract them. So just don't forget about that little easy relationship because we're going to use that today too. All right, so let me start with some subtraction of integers where they're both negative. The easiest possible case is one like this one. It looks the hardest because there's, you know, the triple kind of negative sign. Um, but actually this case where this, there's more negatives here than here, and they're both negatives, this is actually the easiest one because to model this, I would, I would say negative 5, take away, negative 4, so I would start with negative 5, and I want to take away negative 4, and I'm left with negative 1. Oops. That's the easiest possible situation, I think. Well, it maybe looks difficult, negative 5 minus negative 4 is negative 1. So I draw my negative 5, take away my negative 4, and that is my answer right there. All right? Trickier when this number is more than this number, more negative than this number. Because now I want to model negative 2 minus negative 6. I draw negative 2, and I don't have negative 6 to take away. I can only take away negative 2. I can't take away negative 6. So I'm going to do a little fancy trick here. Um, I'm going to make negative 2 be negative 2 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0, which is funny. I'm, I'm going to add 0 to negative 2 a bunch of times, which won't change its value, but will help me do this. Watch what I do. So I'm going to take negative, I've got negative 2, and I need to take away 6 negatives, which means I need 4 more negatives just so that I can take them away, but I don't have them, right? So what I'm going to do, in order to have those negatives to take away, I'm going to add a 0, a 0, a 0, and a 0 like this. I'm going to add a negative 1 plus positive 1, make 0, and I'm going to do that four times. 2, 3, 4. So what I have here, I still have negative 2 plus 0, plus 0, plus 0, plus 0. It's still, if you were to put this all together, it's still negative 2. It's just negative 2 in a really funny looking way. And I add those four zeros, because now I can take away negative 6. So negative 2, take away negative 6. I take away all the negatives, and I'm left with positive 4 is my answer. Very weird. I'm going to do more examples like that on the next one. So if that kind of confused you, we're going to do that a bunch more times, and I think you'll get the hang of it. So let me move on to ones where there's one positive and one negative. It works the exact same way as the last page. So again, you'll get the hang of it. 
So what I'm going to do here, 3 minus negative 8. So to model that, I would draw positive 3. Looks like that. And I need to take away negative 8. I have no negatives to take away. None. I need to take away 8 minus signs, but I don't have any. So in order to have them to take away, I'm going to put them there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. But so that I can put them there, I have to add them in zero pairs. Because really now what I'm showing you is 3 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0. So I wrote 3 plus 0. That's still 3 right there. It's just a much funnier looking 3 than before I put all this over here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take away, now I can take away negative 8 from 3 because I put them there. I can take away all the negative signs. I put them there just to take them away. It's kind of funny. And I'm left with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So negative 3, take, or positive 3, take away negative 8 is 11. Yeah. All right, let me do another one. Um, negative 8, take away positive 6. Negative 8 minus positive 6. So again, I start with my first number. There's my negative 8. And I'm going to draw it a little differently, actually, so I have more space. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And I want to take away positive 6. Don't have any positives to take away. Can't take away 6 plus signs unless they're there. So if I want to take away 6 positive signs, I can. But I've got to put the negative signs with them. So what I'm going to do, instead of taking 6 away from negative 8, I'm going to take 6 away from negative 8 plus 0, which is still negative 8. But if I do it in this kind of tricky way, by adding these 6, 0 pairs to my negative 8, now I can take away positive 6, and I get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 14, right? 8. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yeah. Negative 8, take away 6 is negative 14. All right. Let's do, uh, open your notebook. Let's do some together. All right. <coughs> so let's start with both negative. This is the easiest possible case first. Negative 5, take away negative 3. I'm going to draw my negative 5. I'm going to take away negative 3, and I'm left with negative 2. That's the easiest possible situation when you do negative minus negative, and this negative has a greater absolute value than this negative, then it's super easy. All right, not so easy in this case. So over here, negative 4 minus negative 7, draw my negative 4. I can take away four negatives, but I can't take away seven, so I have to put three zero pairs with it, so that I have negative four plus zero is what I'm really doing. I can't take away negative seven from negative four, but I can take away from negative four plus zero if I do my zero in this strategic way, where I add three zeros to it. Because now I can go back and say, okay, now I can take away negative 7, and I'm left with positive a 3. All right. Hopefully this is starting to make sense to you with a little more practice, all these zero addings. Let's do a couple um, positive and negative examples. So negative 7 minus positive 5. So when I draw that out, here's my negative 7. And even worse, last time I didn't have enough negatives to take away. Here I don't have anything I want to take away. I need to take away positive 5. I have no positives, none. So I'm going to have to add those in in 0. So I need 5 0 pairs. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 
And now I have that gives me the capability to take away positive 5. I put them there just to take them away. And I'm left with negative 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. All right, last one. Positive 3. Take away negative 6. I have no negatives to take away, none. So I'm going to need six zero pairs. So now really what I've given myself is three plus zero, which is still three, but it's a very special three that allows me to take away negative six, take away all these negatives. I put them there just to take them away. And I'm left with positive nine. All right, I think that's enough examples for I do and we do. Um, it's just sort of like a, a pattern to get in your mind of what to add, why to add it, and then what to take away. Um, you know, I, I think sometimes this is real confusing, and I think for some folks this could be real easy. If you're still a little confused, now that you've done all this a few times yourself, if you go back and watch this, I think you'll really, really understand it. If you think you've got it, um, Great. I, ho I hope this um, made a lot of sense. And this, this is a strategy I like a lot because it's very visual and very easy to understand. Um, I know with adding integers, a lot of you figured out like a trick to do it quickly in your head. And it's not quite so easy with subtracting because you'll notice, you know, even the pattern wise here, you, you know, this turned out negative and this turned out positive. And even when they were both negative, you know, sometimes it turned out negative, sometimes it turned out positive. Um, so I would not rush to have a trick yet for this. I'm going to show you two more strategies in the days ahead, one of which really kind of is a trick. Um, but in the meantime, you know, seek to understand this, not to figure out a way to do it as fast as you possibly can. Okay, so head back and watch some examples again if you need to. If not, can't wait to see you tomorrow.